Oh, hey, what's up? What am I doing? Derm rolling, of course. What's a derm roller? What's it used for? How does it even work? If you have these questions, I have the answers coming right up. What's up guys, Erwin from The Beard Necessities here and today we're going to be talking the science of dermarolin. Now I was introduced to dermarolin because of uh, m using minoxidil and I'll talk a little bit about that later. But today I'm going to answer three very simple basic questions about dermarolin for you. And that is what is a dermaroller, how does it work, and does it even work? Before I continue, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you get updates on all my videos. So, to begin, what is a derma roller? A derma roller is a popular microneedling device, tiny device, used in skincare treatments. The history of the derma roller in the Western world goes as far back as the early 1900s and eventually throughout the century, throughout the 1950s and uh, into the 1990s, the dermarolin technique and the dermaroller itself was developed into what we have today. Like most areas of science and uh, medicine, this dermarolin and microneedling, they're all constantly improving and constantly getting better. So no, this is not a facial torture device. <laughs> it's an actual device that even dermatologists use to treat various skin conditions, scarring and uh, the like. So we'll, we'll get more into that into the in the video. The dermaroller itself is a handheld device with a cylindrical drum and it has, this one has 540 tiny needles on that drum. The drum can roll on an axis and you hold it in your hand just like this. Some of them have 192 needles, but this one that I use has 540. How does a dermaroller work? So the principle behind a dermaroller is a collagen induction therapy. But first, just a little background on collagen. Collagen and elastin are two proteins found within your body and they make up a large amount of the connective tissue and your skin. They're found in your hair and your nails as well. Damage to these proteins can lead to scarring or irregularities in their structure and how they, they incorporate themselves within, into your skin. The tiny needles in the derma roller function to pierce the epidermis, which is the most outer layer of your skin, and penetrate to, to the the beginning of the dermis, which is the layer under the epidermis. Once the needles penetrate through to the dermis, they cause tiny micro abrasions or tiny holes in your, in your skin itself without causing too much damage. This micro abrasion or micro needling is going to stimulate the production of collagen, uh, natural collagen, within your body at that site. Collagen and elastin are gonna be used to maintain the structural integrity of your skin, uh, improving elasticity and overall appearance and health. In the process, your body is also gonna produce new blood vessels, new capillaries uh, to the area, bringing more blood, bringing more nutrients to the area. This is your classic, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Then microneedling is not enough to hurt you, but it does make your skin stronger in a sense. So. Does this stuff actually work? So I did some research, of course, being the scientist that I am, and uh, I came across a study in which the participants, they had varying degrees of atrophic scarring and uh, the derma rollers. The derma rollers they used had 192 needles and they were actually 1.5 millimeters in length. So it was over a course of two months and 1.5 millimeters in length and they had three sessions. So out of the 36 participants, 34 of them saw a lot of improvement, saw marked improvement in the appearance of their scarring. In cases where the scarring was really bad, where you had deep tunneling and, and just really bad scarring, there was not much improvement, so there is a limitation to derma rolling and what it can do. Now, as it relates to the length of the needles, the derma rollers usually vary in length from 0.25 millimeters in the spikes all the way up to 1.5 millimeters and 2.5 and, and 2 millimeters in length. The longer the needle, the deeper it's going to penetrate into your skin. It's actually advised that derma rollers above 0.5 millimeters, I believe, or one millimeter and up are reserved for trained medical professionals because you can seriously injure yourself and draw blood if you're not careful in using the derma roller. Depending on the severity of your scarring or the application that you plan to use the derma roller for, the length of the needle is gonna vary. 
The derm roller can be used to increase topical absorption of products that you may put on your face, vitamin C serums uh, and various moisturizers. So you just need a very small needle, maybe 0.3, 0.25, uh, for my applications using minoxidil, I use a 0.5 millimeter derm roller. If you have acne scars, you might want something higher and you might want to go to a doctor's office or a dermatologist for them to actually do the derm rolling or microneedling procedure on you. The shorter the needle, the quicker the recovery time is going to be. When I derma roll, it takes 24 hours for my skin to recover from the procedure. When using derma rollers of, with longer needles, your recovery time might be anywhere from one to two weeks depending on the size of the needle. So as I said, I use a derm roller for uh, in my minoxidil treatment for growing my beard. The reason why many minoxidil users use a derm roller is because minoxidil is shown to inhibit collagen production. As I said, collagen is a very important protein in maintaining the integrity of your skin and if it's not being produced, your skin is gonna look really aged really fast. Collagen is also incorporated in hair, so if you're trying to grow a healthy beard, you need to have collagen in your skin to do that. Because minoxidil inhibits collagen production, we use a derm roller. I use it twice a week. If you use it once a week, that's completely fine. At 0.5 millimeters, and that's gonna help to uh, boost or stimulate collagen production. Special tip for minoxidil users, when you apply your, when you use your derma roller, do not, I repeat, do not apply minoxidil for 24 hours. You're defeating the purpose of using the derma roller. Minoxidil inhibits collagen production, the derma roller stimulates collagen production. If you use them too close to each other, it's defeating the purpose. In addition, when you derma roll, you create all these tiny pores in your skin that the minoxidil can be absorbed directly into your bloodstream and increasing the chances of experiencing bad side effects. So you don't want that. Wait 24 hours before reapplying minoxidil. If you're using derma rollers with longer needles, your wait time should be even longer simply because it takes more time to recover for your skin to recover from uh, that procedure using the long needles. So hopefully that information helped to answer those three questions about derma rolling. I'll share some quick tips that I thought would be helpful in using your derma roller. Number one, Make sure to clean and sterilize it well. I did a small experiment at school where I swabbed my derm roller and <laughs> you should, you'd be surprised to see some of the stuff that was going. Make sure to check that video out right there. You can use ethanol, alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, whatever you want to sterilize the derm roller. Make sure it's clean after every use. Number two, don't share derm rollers. A derm roller is like a toothbrush. You don't share a toothbrush, you don't share a toothbrush with another person. So make sure you don't share your derma rollers as well. Number three, make sure to use a quality product. Usually derma rollers are made with stainless steel, the, the needles, or titanium. You wanna make sure that you're not using shabby equipment that's gonna possibly cause damage to your skin. Number four, make sure to change it every couple months. As I said, just like a toothbrush, you change your toothbrush every couple months, make sure you change your derma roller every few months or so. Number five, you don't have to derma roll too much. Don't overdo it. Once to, one to two times a week is more than enough for most people's uh, intents and purposes. If you have really bad scarring or really bad acne or whatever the case is, your medical professional is gonna determine what's the appropriate derma roller and the frequency of treatment that you should use. That's it for this video on derma rolling. I hope it was really helpful. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be posting all the links to the, the studies and the different references that I've, I used in the description. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, shout out to you as well. Thank you guys for all the support. I've passed 900 subscribers, I'm well on my way to 1,000. Listen out for the giveaways that are gonna be coming up. And I'll see you guys next time on Beard Necessities. Peace.